How's it going, guys? This is Forensic Forks with Deontay, and I'm back with another video. This is your daily update on gold versus the U.S. dollar. As you can see, as expected, price was most likely going to run down into that IFTA 20-day low, so last month's low, so October's low. We just ran that out. We failed to break October's high. Instead, we broke October's low, and we could see price continue to sell off into that old high right here in August, August 20th tuesday you can see price trade into that but there's a possibility there could be a strong retracement because price is selling off you might got retail traders chasing the shorts and if i was a market maker i would want to shake them off my course i would pull price back a little bit get them out of their shorts make them go long again and then drop it again on them and then they're all confused like oh wait i thought the market was going long now it's going back short so that's what I would think from a market maker perspective, right? If I was controlling the market, get the crowd, get retail, get the public mind on gold longs and then go short on them the following day or the following week. That's how I would perceive it. Now, granted, right now we have a buy signal. This is a smash candle because this candle closes below several lows or will potentially close below several lows, possibly in the next four hours and change. Now, if it closes below several lows and returns back to its high, that could be a signal for a long position, whether that is a short-term long or a long-term long. There might be a potential buy opportunity because we're below November's opening price at a discount, and we could look for those longs below the weekly opening price, maybe on a Thursday or a Friday, potentially. If that setup were to play out, I would predict it would land on probably a Thursday or a Friday, right? maybe a Thursday low of the week. And then price turns around, maybe even a Wednesday low of the week and price turns around closing higher on Friday. So gold right now still selling off. I personally would wait for a lower swing high or wait for another up close candle and then go short the following day. If you take a look at GU, so we see gold selling off. We should be seeing, let's see, we should be seeing GU doing the same thing as you can see gu selling off down and away from up close candles right and a bearish leg those up days tend to be sold the following day so just take a look i know part of this is hindsight but when you look at this leg so far going down almost after every up day sometimes it's two up days sometimes it's three up days even sometimes it's four up days but more times than not it's after those counter trend ideas price then distributes lower in its intention, right? It's true intention is to go lower, but those up days are just fades, right? They're fading traders to the wrong side. They're getting retail traders to be lured to the wrong side, and then the following day they go short. You can see that happened here so far in the beginning of the month, right? We had an up close that run by that ran buy side. Breakout traders are probably looking for break retest, go higher, but instead the following day, strong displacement lower. Then we get a retracement back up. What do long traders look for? They're looking for those longs. Or even traders that are on the side of going short, they're now confused. They're like, oh, maybe it's going to go long. Then it goes long again. Now, this is also an outside bar candle. So it tricks traders, right? It takes out the previous daily high and previous daily low with this large candle. It takes out this high and this low within this one candle. That candle there tends to confuse a lot of traders. Normally, when you get candles like this, you might get a very strong buy signal. But more times than not, I would wait personally and see what side of this candle is rated. Is the low rated or is the high rated? And we can see the low of that candle has been rated. So I would suspect maybe we got lower price action to go. Right now, price had tagged the IPTA 60-day low. So look at how we ranged around the IPTA old 40-day low here, September's low. We ranged around it for a bit, finally left it. Then we got down to October's low, tapped it. Retrace back up, and now we went right through that low again one more time, running out that swing low, sell side down here, and then running down to that IPTA 60-day low, or pretty much, what is this? This is not August's low, but it's close to August's low, but this that IPTA 60-day low ran out. Maybe we are running for August's low too, right, which is what? August 8th, this Thursday. So price could possibly reach down here maybe in the next four hours. Who knows? Or maybe the following day or following week. It's a large candle to the downside. I don't suspect another large candle down again, but we could get one because normally each month, you're normally going to get 
either one strong fair value gap to one direction. And this could be that one fair value gap. So the next candle may open, might retrace a bit, and then sell down and leave an inefficiency here. And we'll see if we get something like that along the lines next week or maybe even possibly this week. Take a look at the DXY. Pushing up, right? Away from that down candle, we're trending. Market maker buy model, pretty much almost 100% complete. We just got these clean highs to get above. Honestly, I do think price will get there. I would look at this as a new bullish order block. So if price comes down into it and we got a fair value gap right around it, price comes down into that zone, might be a buying opportunity here for DXY. So let's just mark that off here. So we got a nice little fair value gap here, right there, blended in with that last down close candle. Make sure that's correct. There we go. So we'll see what price is going to do. Do we get a higher swing low now after that false break on this swing low? Right? This one was a false break. So price ran this low here and decided to displace higher. It's also a smash candle. Right? For those that are, you know, very inquisitive and very versed in Larry Williams concepts, you know that this is a smash candle here. This daily candle is a smash candle. Why? It closes below several lows, three or more daily lows. And it looks very bearish, right? Retail, their mind goes, oh, this looks bearish. So the following day, they might be looking for those break retests, but instead, quick reversal, strong displacement to the upside. And I believe that what, when it was Wednesday, the election? I can't even remember if it was Wednesday or Thursday. I think it was Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday, right? Trump won, DXY gained strength, bond yields went up as well. So let's take a look at the bond yields too. It's been a while since we talked about that. So if you come down here, Where are they? It's above this. We got the two year trading up, right? We dropped below the yearly opening price too. The yields dropped below the yearly opening price. The same thing we do with the kill zones, the same thing we do with the true day open at midnight opening price, the same thing we do with the weekly candle, the daily candle, those opening prices, there's a yearly candle opening price, the opening bid of the year. We can see at one point of the year, it was discounted multiple a few moments right in january and february and after that it made a leg up and then it started to break down and it broke all the way down through the yearly opening price putting it itself in a deep discount for the year and then they started accumulating orders here in september and october and they unleashed that right there and you can see it's closing above or most likely going to close above the yearly open going into december possibly or to the end of the year so i do think dollars are going to keep pushing higher so I think gold is going to push lower unless the market starts to consolidate towards the last month, which could possibly happen in December. 10 year, All right, let's go back five years, same things trending up. All of them are getting right above the yearly opening price, just like the DXY. This looks very similar to the DXY, nothing too different. And if we take a look at some of the yen crosses, let's take a look at UJ. There we go. UJ, same thing, right? Yen is depreciating while what? Dollars coming back into play. Though rates are being cut, everybody is most likely going to navigate and pursue king dollar, right? The global reserve currency. It's still a dollar. Countries got to pay off debt in US dollars. Now, I'm not saying the future might change. And dollar might not be, you know, highly sought after in the next 50 years. I don't know, right? I'm not trying to predict that. But within the next decade, dollars are still going to be sought after 100%. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's just my personal take on it. You may disagree with me, but I do think dollars will still be sought after and still be the global reserve currency in the next 10 years. So everybody's going to most likely go back into dollars or go back into what? Gold. And then we also have what? That nuance of what the new variable of cryptocurrencies. So things are changing in the fiat world, at least in the currency world, in the way we trade and buy and go into debt. So please pay attention to these things as you know, we're moving into a new era of the way money might be, you know, circulated on this globe. US oil selling off. I'm not surprised because sometimes, right, gold and US oil will trend in the same direction. So the fact that we're getting a lower gold. And we're also getting a lower oil. I like that. So I want to see if oil is going to continue to sell off. 
there's a lot of intermarket analysis here going on, right? You see GU selling off, you see gold sell off. That means what? EU should be selling off. AU should be so selling off. Look at that. Strong displacement, right? We're getting ready to leave. Starting to sell off. Probably going to get down to August's low somehow. Some way, somehow. Or at least 50% of this displacement, right? Of this wick or this tail. Maybe 50% of that wick is going to get filled in. Who's this? The zillion dollar. Selling off as well. August is the lows right there. It's so close. Strong movement right now, honestly, from price. Yen crosses. Right? We're just scanning some things, right? Might be lethargic for some. AJ, not really moving. Dollar has been, right? UJ has been moving. All these other yen crosses, not moving as quickly as UJ. I prefer the out of all the yen crosses, right? A little more um, info about me. Out of all the yen crosses, I like to trade UJ always, 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 always. We got some of the futures of the currency. So look, EU, Euro futures, pound futures, just selling, selling. They're getting rid of their the fiat currency, right? They're jumping into something else that's more valuable. All right. Bank of England also cut rates recently. Fed's cut rates recently. A lot of banks have been cutting. And then we also have gold versus what? You know, the other fiats, right? Gold versus Australian dollar selling off. This is a daily chart too. Gold versus what? Euro daily chart as well. Same thing. Just looks looks just like gold versus dollar. Nothing different. Might be more volatile, right? Or might be leading the curve, but all stands true. So just to recap again, I would suspect probably some type of pullback and price selling lower. Or there could be a stalling, right? And price trades back up and it ranges again. So there could be a short-term long opportunity and then maybe price might accumulate for the rest of the year. And like I said, we're coming to the end of the year. Not much is going to happen. I don't think they're going to squeeze any more out of gold. If they do, I would be honestly shocked and surprised if they squeeze it to all-time highs again. But I don't think so. If we take a look at intraday, though, right, going to 15-minute time frame, yesterday I did recommend. I said, if you're going to go short, you should be looking for signs to go short where? Above the opening price, above kill zones opening price, anywhere you can see price going into a premium array and then selling. 